Amy Cooper said she would be calling the police instead. I'm going to tell them there's an African-American man threatening my life, the white woman told him, pulling out her iPhone and dialing 911. Less than 24 hours later after a video of their exchange went online, she has lost her dog, her anonymity, and temporarily, her job, the latest incident in a long, too familiar pattern of white people calling the police on black people for any number of everyday activities, barbecuing, playing golf, swimming at a pool. Time to add a new outdoor pastime to that list, bird watching. I don't think there's an African American person in America who hasn't experienced something like this at some point. Christian Cooper, a 57-year-old science editor, told the Washington Post in an interview. I don't shy away from confronting them, scoff law when I see it. Otherwise, the park would be unusable, not just to us birders but to anybody who enjoys the beauty. Christian Cooper, who is not related to Amy, had gotten up early on Memorial Day to head to the Ramble, a heavily wooded section of Central Park designed to resemble a wild garden. With its rocky outcrops and thick canopy, the area makes for an especially inviting stopover for birds on their northward migration, he said. An avid birder since childhood, Cooper had been making daily trips in recent weeks to peek at the wildfowl stopping by for some refuge from the urban sprawl. In recent weeks, scarlet tanagers, ovenbirds, and the especially elusive morning warblers had all sought out the avian oasis. The novel coronavirus shut down the city this spring along with its busy dog runs. Authorities wanted to ensure that pets humans were staying six feet apart, and the ramble, already an occasional target for loose puppies, became a canine playground. On an early daily basis, he had seen unleashed pooches digging up the soil, ruining the delicate habitat and disturbing the birds. He had often asked unaware owners to restrain their pets, sometimes on camera, he said, and he carried around some dog treats for this very purpose. Monday morning was no different. Around 7.30 a.m., he spotted Rowdy, two-year-old Henry grazing through the brush, as his human, an investment banker in yoga pants and a face mask, was standing right by a sign saying all dogs must be leashed. Christian Cooper asked her to follow the rules, she refused. He keeps dog treats on hand for non-compliant pet owners, he said, and tried to toss one to the dog. As he started recording, she threatened to call the police. At that point, he told the Post, he had only one option. I can be racially intimidated and kowtow to her, he said, but I'm not going to participate in my own dehumanization. Please call the cops, he said on video. Please tell them whatever you'd like. She did, assuming an increasingly loud voice over the phone that, to some on social media made her sound as if she was being physically attacked. In the meantime, she wrapped a blue leash around Henry seemingly choking the yelping dog before clipping it on. A spokesman for the New York Police Department told the Post that officers responded to a report of an assault in the Ramble at 8 a.m. Monday. When they arrived on the scene, they found only a woman and issued no summonses and made no arrests. Amy Cooper did not immediately respond to a call and email requesting comment from the Post. But speaking to WNBC, she offered an apology to Christian Cooper and his family. It was unacceptable and I humbly and fully apologize to everyone who's seen that video, everyone that's been offended, she told the TV station Monday evening. Everyone who thinks of me in a lower light, I understand why they do. By then, however, it appeared to be too late. As of early Tuesday, the video had been viewed nearly 20 million times. Her employer, the investment firm Franklin Templeton, said it had placed her on administrative leave. 
the animal rescue where she adopted, Henry had taken him back. As some on social media called for an investigation into her, past work with black colleagues, hashtag fire Amy Cooper was trending on Twitter. Edit FTI underscore US, edit city before that. How many times has she already done this when it wasn't on video? How many Amy Coopers, do you have working at your company? In your community? How much damage have they done? Are you an Amy Cooper? How much damage have you done? Franklin, Leonard, at Franklin Leonard, May 26, 2020 Amy Cooper made a choice. Not a mistake. Not an error in judgment, a choice. She chose racism, fully and deliberately chose to attempt to put a black man in harm's way for the offense of asking her to obey leash laws. She was going to try to ruin his life, if not take it. Snowflake, Mickey Kendall, Snowflake, Epcar Nithia, May 26, 2020 They mentioned the case of Emmett Till and To Kill a Mockingbird, both examples of false accusations lodged by white women at black men. Many, including Christian Cooper himself, pointed to the case of Ahmaud Arbery, a black jogger who was shot down and killed in Georgia by a group of white men earlier this year, 74 days before anyone was arrested. But Christian Cooper also said things have already